Yo, yo, YouTube. This is Chad here coming to you from Honeycomb Fingerboards with another little update video. It's been a while. It's been a couple days since I've updated you guys with what's happening. But about to throw in another deck. But I think first we're going to be focusing on these guys. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to sand these yet. But outside for sure. <laughs> But I think I'm going to go roam around and try to find us a spot to get these guys sanded up. So we're going to head head out and see what we can find. So later. All right. So found myself a little spot here right next to the lake. Nice little shaded area. But got myself my headphones, a couple drinks. I'll go ahead and start sanding up on these decks. Alright, so the decks are all sanded up with the rougher grit for now. Still gotta go through with the, the like foamy stuff and kind of get those tails more rounded off. But that's what I'm about to start working on for now. But the decks are looking pretty mint. Pretty mint. Can't wait to see what they look like all clear coated. But I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding them up even more. Alright, so I'm trying to film this as best as I can with one hand, but this is pretty much what I'm trying to do. The decks on the right, like the right three, I have not sanded with the the finer grit, so you can kind of tell they're more, you know, sharp edges and stuff like that. And then the three on the left I have sanded and just look a lot more smooth and I don't know it just looks a lot more realistic if you were to hold up like a real skateboard that's that's what it's gonna look like on the left not not on the right and not not you know boxy or anything like that so yeah that's what I'm going for the ones on the left alright so there we go guys Got all six of our dicks all fine sanded up. Looking good. So now we're just gonna take them out to the garage, get some kingpin holes thrown in there, some countersink holes. But sun's finally gone down. I don't know how long it's been. I've been out here, but it's a nice evening. But Gonna go ahead and go into the garage and finish these guys up. Alright guys, so we're back out in the garage with these guys and as you can see they're looking pretty good. So we got to get on to countersinking and putting the kingpin holes in these decks, but I believe what I'm going to do before that, since I already have the drill bit already in there for the holes, is I'm just going to go ahead and take this deck out and tap those holes, you know, before I have to change it to the 1 8 inch and then change it back to that to finish that, so we're just going to simplify the process and go ahead and get that deck out and tapped so let's do it <laughs> switch out the drill bit so I'm gonna work on that yep so unfortunately I don't have an eighth inch drill bit anywhere <laughs> must have gotten lost in the move here or something but I'm not able to do the countersink holes right now and I'm gonna have to go to the store and pick up a new one so hopefully I'll be able to go there tonight but yeah, that just means that I can't start clear coating on these decks, though, which is unfortunate. 
I was wanting to get these started today since it does take almost like half a week or so to get them done but I don't know I might be able to run up to the store or something tonight grab one but that sucks so we're just gonna go ahead and work on that throw that deck in the mold so yep all right so for this deck it's gonna be this kind of crazy looking striped exotic looking wood Oh no, looks kind of crazy. If you get up close. Yeah, got that. I don't even know what to really call it. But that maple, this like ice blue, almost just like a really light blue, a dark blue, and then maple up on top with the honeycomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the mold. All right, so here we go guys. Got the deck in the mold. So I'm about to throw it in the press here. All right, so that's it for that deck, but I think I'm about to make a trip up to Walmart to go see if I can find one of those drill bits. For these decks, and that way I can at least get to clear coating them today. So, yep, let's we'll see what we can find. My America. Clutch. Eighth inch, drill bit, three bucks. Alright, so we're finally back out in the garage. Went ahead and got the eighth inch drill bit put up in the drill press. So, we'll go ahead and start counter sinking and throwing the kingpin holes in these decks. So, I'm gonna hop on them. Alright, so counter sinking is now done. And of course, I've gotta fuck up on something else while I'm drilling. Or, yeah. Drilling countersinks on this one. The like brand new drill bit just like literally ate into the deck and just pretty much just like grabbed it out of my hand and just immediately just shoved it straight up into the drill bit. So I was like, oh cool. So that deck is now unusable. It's so awesome because I just fucking spend so much time sanding it all day today so another deck down so down just these last five for now so there we go kingpin holes are now done I went ahead and strung them up on this little wire that way I can hold them and get them all clear coated so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started Alright, so that's going to pretty much conclude it for this video. The decks are looking pretty good. Got the first coat laid down. But yeah, that's going to be it. And you guys know the deal. As always, like, comment, rate, subscribe, and... Until next time, though. Later, y'all. Ooh, that's bright.